Hey, it's Kelly Lemon with your A1 Minute Week in Review presented by Plumber Near Me. A Virginia Commonwealth University fraternity has been suspended two years for hazing. And a sorority has received a four-year punishment for using its group's forum to buy and sell prescription drugs. Fraternity Delta Epsilon Mu was punished for psychological hazing and sorority Phi Mu received a suspension for buying and selling prescription pills on a student communications app. In Salem, a CVS store was fined by the Virginia Board of Pharmacy for violating state law. An untrained nurse injected a youth with six COVID-19 vaccine doses at once. One of a dozen violations found in connection with a routine inspection in January 2022. Adjusting gaming revenues for Bristol Casino in April has reached over $13 million. With two months remaining in the physical year, Virginia's first casino has generated about $136 million in gaming revenue. Facing opposition from local restaurant owners, Bristol, Virginia City Council voted not to raise the city's meal tax rate for a second straight year. The decision to leave the meals tax rate at 10% is expected to cost a cash-strapped city about $750,000. President Joe Biden on Wednesday rejected the fall schedule proposed by the Commission on Presidential Debates, imperiling Virginia State University's chance to host a presidential debate in October. An effort to purchase body-worn cameras for the Virginia State Police died during this year's prolonged budget talks. That means the state police, Virginia's largest law enforcement agency with more than 1,800 officers, will remain without devices at least until next season. All right, that's it for this week's A1 Minute Week in Review presented by Plumber Near Me. Make sure you pick up a copy of this Sunday's paper for a more detailed recap of news from across the state.